ay matiglaw binibining Pilipinas Intercontinental Top 20 in the recent Miss Intercontinental Beauty Pageant in Egypt Pash magtanong Top 8 in the recent Miss International Beauty Pageant in Japan Samantha Lowe was unplaced in the recent Miss Grand International Beauty Pageant, unfortunately. Laren May Bautista, second runner-up in the recent Miss Globe Beauty Pageant. Resham Saeed, top 25 in the recent Miss Supranational Beauty Pageant. And yun nga, si Cassini Ganados, top 20 sa recent Miss Universe Beauty Pageant in Atlanta, Georgia. And there you go guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Roderick Cruz Abala again para sa inyo, para maghatid ng bagong balita or bagong pwedeng mangyari sa Binibining Pilipinas or sa world ng pageantry. Bago tayo magsimula, kung bago ka lang sa akin channel at hindi ka pa nakakasubscribe at mahilig ka sa beauty pageant, i-click mo na ang subscribe button. Pag nagustuhan mo ang video na to, click mo lang ang like button and mag ka lang ng comment for any suggestion kung meron kang gustong i-feature or meron kang ipagawa sa akin na video or about beauty pageant, kayang-kaya natin yan. And yun, so click mo lang ang notification bell as well para lagi kang updated sa mga bagong videos na i-upload ko soon. For my English speaking viewers, if you are new to my channel and if you like this video, please give a thumbs up, leave your comments, and don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell to get updated with my latest uploads. Alright, so before we start, thank you, thank you very much for my 2,300 plus subscriber and I, it means a lot to me. And yun. So thank you, thank you very much. And keep subscribing and liking and watching my videos. And God bless to you all. Without further ado, let's talk about Binibining Pilipinas 2020. So ano nga ba ang mangyayari? Ano nga ba ang posibleng mangyayari sa Binibining Pilipinas 2020 or sa coming years? Since like what I said or like what I discussed in my previous video, Binibini Pilipinas and Miss Universe Philippines is no longer connected. I mean, Miss Universe Philippines now is a separate or independent pageant. So, hindi na siya under ng Binibini Pilipinas beauty pageant. So, every year or taon-taon, ang Binibini Pilipinas ay nag-held ng beauty pageant which is nag- uh, Nagbibigay sila ng title ng Binibining Pilipinas International, Binibining Pilipinas Globe, Binibining Pilipinas Supranational, Binibining Pilipinas Grand International, uh, Binibining Pilipinas Universe. And then later on around 10 years or around 8 years, uh, since 2012 to 2019, 8 years to be exact, so 8 years to be exact ang Miss Universe Philippines which is before is Binibining Pilipinas Universe ay ginawang Miss Universe Philippines. So, every year yun ay binibigay sa pinaka or, kumbaga, yun yung pinaka top crown na pinaka unang crown na gustong gustong mapanalunan ng lahat ng mga sumasali sa Binibining Pilipinas. And yun na nga. So, having said that, hiwalay na nga ang Miss Universe Philippines at Binibining Pilipinas. So, ibig sabihin nga, kasgaya nga na sabi ko sa isa kong video, magkakaroon na nga ng first edition ng Miss Universe Philippines Beauty Pageant. So, 2020 coming soon. So, I'm going to talk about Binibining Pilipinas alone. So, but I might segue or I might say something about or connected sa Miss Universe Philippines. Alright? So, this video is regarding the Binibining Pilipinas 2020. Ano nga ba ang mangyayari at sino nga ba ang posibleng sumali at sino nga ba yung gusto kong sumali sa Binibining Pilipinas 2020? Ikaw, sino ba ang gusto mong sumali? And, drop mo lang yung comment mo kung sino ang gusto mong sumali sa Binibining Pilipinas 2020 and bakit. Shamsi Subsub was under A and Q or Aces and Queen prior joining Binibining Pilipinas and Miss Universe 2011 which she won third runner-up and then she is under Mercator Models Association as well which is the same or like a sister company of Aces and Queen so um, my take is that if for example these Binibinis that I will mention later 
will join the Miss Universe Philippines 2020, I don't think it's a good idea. Why? Because like I said, Shamsi Soup Soup is under a and I'm not sure really if she's still under the, or she is still under Aces and Queen Mercator models. But I also believe that she is professional enough to, to handle these things. But this is just my take. I don't want to see KF queens or KF girls specifically why I will explain further in this video why I don't want them to join Miss Universe Philippines 2020 all right so if you are not aware guys Miss World Philippines is also under a different organization same as the Miss Philippines universe Ang Miss Universe Philippines nga ayun nga, sabi ko nga is managed by Shamsi Soup Soup. Shamsi Soup Soup is under ANQ, just like I said. I'm not sure really if she's still under ANQ and she is, she was, or she is, I don't know, if she is still under Mercator models. And kung notice nyo guys, ang Miss World Philippines walang nanalo na KF Girls. So since nag-indagi independent ang Miss World Philippines, walang nanalo na KF girls or kagandahang Flores girls. It's either naging first runner up, third runner up, fourth runner up, second runner up. Mostly runner up na kukuha ng KF girls. Why? We don't know. Um, we cannot say or I don't wanna say anything or I don't wanna say their bias or something because there must be something behind that, you know? So in this video, I don't want to give anything negative. I just want to give my observation. So it's basically more of my observation but not to criticize or to give a conclusion. Yeah. So it might sound that I'm giving a conclusion but it's not really what I mean. So apology for that in advance and yeah. So yeah, so let me discuss why and who I want to join Binibining Pilipinas 2020. Alright, so first up, I have Jessari Dumaging. So Jessari Dumaging, she have a very beautiful figure, she have a very beautiful skin tone, and she can speak as well. Um, if you watched Binibining Pilipinas 2019 beauty pageant, she can also speak. She is also have a good personality and she have a good pasarela. She is really good in pictures as well, in videos. So she have a lot of potential in joining international beauty pageant. And the second one that I really want to join is I really want to give a chance is Vicky Rashton. Vicky Rashton, she failed big time in the last edition of Bini Bining Philippines Beauty Pageant. But I do believe that she have a big chance and she have a potential as well just like Jessa Rindu Wagging. And I can see that she can really fit in the Miss International Beauty Pageant. But I'm not really sure with her age. And I'm not really sure as well with the age requirement of Miss International Beauty Pageant. But hopefully, if ever her age is still qualified for the Miss International Beauty Pageant, I want to see her in Miss International Beauty Pageant 2020. And yeah, the third one will be, of course, Samantha Bernardo. Samantha Bernardo as well, she can speak. She might... A little bit sound rehearsed or like aral yung pagsasalita ng especially sa Q&A pero we never know diba hindi natin masasabi na porke parang sound rehearsed or sound aral or pageant uh, type of Q&A or communication skills she can talk she can talk um, she can really talk she is not just like an ordinary girl na pageant pageant girl she has something to to offer as well she have this love for the culture arts for the philippine culture she is always attending the cultural show in somewhere in the philippines and that is something to to be proud of and that is something that we can really give credit to her and the next one would be i want to see i want to see aya abisamis i don't really know why but I really think that she has a potential as well she have a big potential well take note guys Aya Bisamis is not under KF so the three previous girls that I mentioned 
earlier is under KF or Kagandahang Flores Camp or BT Camp or KF Beauty Camp. Aya Bisamis is a model. She's an international and print ad model in the Philippines. Then yeah, international. And she have a very good body as well. She can talk but not like the Miss Universe type nowadays. I don't see her competing. I don't want to see her competing in Miss Universe Philippines 2020. It's why because you know guys that now Miss Universe is not looking for just beauty or just model type. They're looking for the ambassador that can really talk, that can handle a one hour, two hour, three hour talk. You know, so it's more of declamation, it's more of a, like a debate. So I don't see Aya Bisamis to be in Miss Universe Beauty Pageant. I want to see her in other pageants like maybe uh, Miss Supranational. Her age is also okay. Uh, Miss Intercontinental or Miss Globe. I would like to see her in Miss Globe. Yeah, so who knows, diba? Right? Um, those girls are my favorites so far. The girls that I see and I know and I feel that can do well in international beauty pageant. So if I forget to mention someone or if I forget to, to mention any girls, any names of the potential, just leave your comment down below. And yeah, so I might get a review and do another video after this or like a follow-up video. All right. So basically, that's it for now. And my four girls na gusto kong makita in the future or soon sa binibining Pilipinas 2020. So yon. So I have just already maging. I want to see her in binibining Pilipinas and compete in either Miss Globe or Miss Supranational or maybe Miss International because. I believe that she is younger than Vicky Rashton, so I might we might see her in Miss International Beauty Pageant soon. Yeah, and then Vicky Rashton, Vicky Rashton, it's either Bini Bini Filipinas International or any pageant na pwede pa yung age niya. Because I believe she is around 27, 20, yeah, something like that now. And then Samantha Bernardo as well, um, I think last, um, I think last chance na nila ito para sumali sa beauty pageant. So, yeah. So, those two girls na runners-up ng Binibini Pilipinas previously and current second runner-up si Samantha Bernardo. So, I want to see them in Binibini Pilipinas 2020 and hopefully nga mag-join. So, yun. So, sana so mag-join sila. So, yeah. So, lastly is Aya Bisami. So, Aya Bisami is really nice body. Really slim. Toned. Um, yeah. So I still want to see her, I still want to, I still see that she have this hunger. But it's not that hunger hunger, if you know what I mean, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, so those four girls, ang nakikita ko na gusto ko mas sumali ulit sa Binibining Pilipinas. And if ever you notice that they're all pageant veterans or repeaters, that's what I see right now. I don't know anyone. That's why I cannot give any comment on them and I don't have and I haven't seen them talk. So that is something that is really really hard to, to give um, a review or to give or to make a video about them. So it's just unfair to say that this girl who have na hindi ko pa nakita magsalita ay ko compare ko against sa nakita ko na so yun so that's it for now and thank you very much for watching guys and thank you thank you thank you thank you and we just hope the best for both Binibini Pilipinas and Miss Universe Philippines Beauty Pageant and yun so yeah thank you very much bye bye